Hello everyone, Pezo here with another cool video tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to curve your pipes or capsules and how to put it on your text or your logo. It depends on you. And here's the example. I put this pipe or capsule. I don't know the name exactly. So I put this thing on my logo. Uh, you can put it on your text or whatever you want. First, you need to download these models. You can find uh, these pipes on my uh, 7K graphic pack. I put the link in the description below so you can download it. It's for free. When you uh, download it, just open that and go over the Stemma 40 file and you can find the models. Uh, just open that and so I'm gonna delete these pipes just open the models you will get this thing right there then uh, I recommend you choose this pipe or this one it looks really amazing uh, I'm gonna use uh, this pipe uh, in this tutorial just select it and open the models open the cylinder and you, f uh, you will find this pipe just press ctrl c on your keyboard just copy it and go over the window and uh, open your project and press ctrl v and paste your pipe right there now i'm gonna uh, show you how to change the color of the pipe uh, i recommend you choose uh, clothing materials just uh, make a new material and add a uh, texture, color, or whatever you want, and uh, check this glow. And uh, change the inner state 100%, outer state 300%, and radius 5 cm. So here we go. Just close this and drag your material on this uh, orange material. Just drag and drop it right there. It's very simple. Just drag and drop. And uh, I want to change this uh, color of this section. Now it's white. I have a material for that. I recommend you choose a white or black material for this area. I'm gonna use the white material. It's a little bit gray. Just drag it on your pipe like that. Then drag this material between put it between these two icons just like that then select the material change the projection frontal okay here we go and zoom in a little bit oops okay just zoom in a little bit here we go and click this icon and select freehand tool and make a spline just like that it's really simple then select your spline and select your move tool and click this icon right there as you can see here we have a one two three four points just uh, select it and you can uh, edit it with your move tool just like that it looks like a pen tool on Snemo 40 oops just click on the points and edit your spline just like that okay here we go it looks really nice now I'm gonna add 
this spline wrap, just uh, click on this icon and select uh, spline wrap. I'm gonna uh, drag this spline wrap into this uh, pipe. Just drag and drop it right there. Make sure this uh, down icon is appears. Just drag and drop it into the pipe and select uh, spline wrap and go over the object and drag this spline into this spline area just drag the spline and put it into the spline section here we go just don't worry go over the axis drop down and select plus y so here we get a nice spline nice pipe now I'm gonna select a uh, pipe oops I'm gonna select a uh, spline wrap select your move tool I'm gonna move it just select your spline oops yeah sorry just uh, click this icon and select your move tool and select your spline and move it little bit back just like that and here we go here we get a nice spline and nice pipe on our logo now I'm gonna create a new one right there so I'm gonna copy this pipe and I'm gonna delete this spline wrap now uh, select the freehand tool again and uh, make a spline like that here we go sorry about that just select your freehand tool and make a spline just like that now select your move tool and click this icon and edit your uh, spline just like that it's really simple it's really easy now oops I'm gonna make it okay this looks really nice now I'm gonna add the another spline wrap and uh, take this spline wrap into your new pipe and select this spline wrap and move the spline into this section just drag and drop right there and go over the axis and select plus y and here we go just select this icon select your move tool and click on the spline and move it right there you can also rotate your spline or uh, make this for example make this invisible and select your spline you can edit it with points as you can see I'm gonna move it this one a little bit like that and change the make the pipe visible and here we get a nice pipe on our logo so uh, that's all guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so you can create a, a different pipes or cylinder on your text or your logo and Thanks for watching guys, uh, don't forget like, comment and subscribe and see you guys in the next video, bye.